Global War 36 enthusiast here with Operation Goldeneye, turn 8.6, Italy. It is January 1940. I am going to be rolling for advanced submarines. Let's see what PBE generates. Taking a while. Okay, I succeed with a 12, with authority. Italy goes up to stage three on advanced submarines. Um, purchases. I have 42 IPPs saved, so I will lend lease 26 IPPs to Japan. They're at 52 right now, so I can give them 26. And I'll save 16 IPPs. Okay, uh, I have Great Britain with 33 IPPs rather than 31 IPPs because they started their turn with 26 uh, rather than starting their turn with 24. I think that Panzer J thought that um, Great Britain lost some IPPs, but I, I believe that Boston Bruce uh, convoy raided the FEC line. And in this sea zone where uh, the Japanese convoy raid, I, I believe the way it works is the defending player gets to choose the convoy line. I had thought that we declared, like the whoever uh, was the submarine attacking declared which line they were hitting. But I think in lines that have multiple, the defender gets to pick which convoy line takes the damage. So um, that's why I have Panzer J with 33 IPPs for Great Britain. Let's talk about the, uh, the capital here in Calcutta. Uh, the FEC lost their capital in Calcutta and on page 44, 9.23, capturing an enemy capital, it states, some nations may relocate their capital if their capital is taken. USA, USSR, Britain, and France. It does not specify FEC, but if you look at the national reference sheet for FEC, it states, if Calcutta is conquered, FEC loses its possessed IPP, but may continue to build units in other land zones. So that, that ability to build units in other land zones would imply that FEC assigns another capital and starts collecting money. So uh, during 8.4, the Commonwealth should have declared where they want the FEC capital. I'm 99% sure it's going to be British Malaya uh, because it just makes sense to have it here where uh, FEC has a majority of its forces. But if uh, Panzer J wants to give us another location, Maybe he wants it in the Maldive Islands, or maybe he wants it in Punjab or Kashmir. Just let us know. Um, and then I have the FEC with six IPPs collected from last turn. So that's, that's one adjustment. And then finally, I want to talk about uh, what happened over here with uh, Lend-Lease. I'm going to zoom out a bit here. So on 8.4, Great Britain Lend-Leased Lend a infantry to the Free French in northern Algeria. And we need to go over how exactly that works. Uh, what you do is you declare what factory you were building your infantry, because it does use factory capacity. So let's say that uh, Panzer J used London. I'm just using that. Panzer J would get to decide. But he would say, okay, the infantry that's going to the Free French is built here in London. Then the next thing you do is you name the, the naval facility. It has to be a home country naval facility uh, where it goes overseas. So, for example, Panzer J couldn't build the Lend-Leased infantry in S South African Union um, and then Lend-Lease it to the Free French from there uh, overseas because it's going to have to leave uh, a home country naval facility. He could choose anyone. It could be this minor uh, shipyard because it, it's only three IPPs. But he names it. He says, okay, it's leaving here. It's, it's embarking uh, to leave here, and it's going to debark in northern Algeria. Now, what Panzer J did was he's like, okay, it goes over around over here. I don't know if you can see me going off screen down the east coast of the United States. Uh, you can't. So let me, let me show you what he was saying. He was like, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to avoid. I'm going to leave here and go over around over here. You cannot do that. 
you name the two ports and you take the shortest distance, the shortest path between those two points. So there, no matter what home country uh, naval facility he picks and he's going to go to northern Algeria, the shortest path has to go through C-Zone 48 and that means an interdiction role. So uh, I've, I've reached out to Panzer J, I haven't heard back from him or, or maybe he did text me and I just didn't notice it. But uh, do you, Panzer J, do you want to take back the Free French infantry uh, or do you want to risk the Lend-Lease? Oh, he says I will still send it. Okay. So I will add that in here. Uh, oh, I'll just roll it because I already already did my PPE, so I have to, I have to, uh, I'll just generate this roll here. We'll zoom in. So the way it works is the attacker is red and the defender, that's Panzer J. My subs are the attackers against the interdiction. And if it's a tie, then Panzer J is going to go through. The red die has to be higher. It's an unmodified 2d6. Here, here's our roll. Uh, and it, the infantry is destroyed. So that interdiction succeeded. Um, okay, I think that is all the um, notes I had to make up. Okay, combat movement, none. Um, Non-combat movement. The Italians are going to have some non-combat moves here. Let's zoom out just a scooch. Okay. So I'm going to have these three coastal subs leave C-Zone 50, and they will go to C-Zone 79. Just, just uh, you know, they just seem to be lurking around this light carrier because the, the, the Axis seem to be obsessed with British light carriers, or Axis subs in particular. And then this uh, fleet will pick up two infantry and two marines, and this fleet consists of one battleship, one heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, three destroyers, two submarines, and one torpedo boat destroyer, and two transports. And that fleet is going to go one, two, three, up here to Sea Zone 48. Um, so, you know, we just, maybe we're going to come around to the Germans, come up here, say hello to the Soviets. I remember the Soviets were saying that they had the largest fleet in the North Atlantic, so things might might change in the future. We might have some some plans of what to do with the Italians. Uh, placement of lend-lease units. So let's let's do it that way. We we say that the IPPs are leaving Rome and they're going to go over to Tokyo. There, the Italians are neutral with everyone, so it, there's no one that can can stop that. Uh, it arrives safely. So Japan has 88 IPPs and Italy will collect 10 IPPs with the, with the 16 that they saved. They will have 26 IPPs for next turn. Who knows what they'll do with that. Um, so the next up is Knights Templar with turn 8.7 USA. Merry Christmas.